This is why you shouldn't have three massive overpowered orcs in your throne room. No one should have the power of three different bagger bugs in one throne room. Whoa! 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 So I walk into the throne room and I'm like, okay, there's bagger bug. Easy. You know, I expected this. I saw that there was a bagger bug. So I'm gonna have to fight one. It's not gonna be too difficult. I'm sure his bodyguards won't be as good as him. It's gonna be grand. It's gonna be a grand, easy old time. Okay, so what we got? We got bagger bug there. Oh, and he's got another bagger bug. Oh wait, there's three bagger bugs. There's overlord bagger bug. There's bodyguard number one bagger bug and bodyguard number two bagger bug. What the hell? And they're all the same ranking, all the same level. Look at that. They're all immediately enraged. I've got Bagger in here, I've got a Grog in here, the Grog is immediately killed. Honestly, I thought the Grog was going to work because they are beast fodder, but I didn't go on it in time and they killed it instantly, so now it's just me and Bagger. But I should say, this is smart Bagger, this is young Bagger before he was deranged, so you know, we've got a fighting chance here. Bagger can take on an army, and look at that, he's already picked him up, wrestling slam into the floor, and my god, I've just been tackled. So as you can see, the big lad here, he's taking me down, he's giving me the punches, and now he's going to try and finish me off, but I'm too quick on the draw, so I protect myself. Anyway, I'm back in the fight now. It's absolute chaos. There are some archers up here which are really pissing me off, and I'm like, okay, let's go up here, let's get a bird's eye view, let's take in the situation. After a while up there, you know, I eventually head down because I couldn't figure out what the hell to do except to just jump in, take the fight to the bag of bugs. I'm sure they won't expect that. Get them all angry, and then hopefully... Hopefully, they can kill themselves. They can kill each other. I don't know why I shot him there. I knew he's arrow-proof. They're all arrow-proof. But I've got bigger concerns now. Bag is down and he has to get up. This is not a friendly raid. This is a pro raid. So if I don't get Bag up, he's dead. He's gonna die. So I think I'm about to get finished off here. But this Bag just starts throwing up. And he doesn't even try and kill me. So I end up just getting up. After he's just thrown up from being poisoned. I'm able to use my amazing Nightcrawler abilities and I'm able to scoot away and get Bagger up and back into the fight. My tactic now is to zip in, use the explosive attack and then zip out. But they've got so much health and it doesn't seem to do very much that this is going to take a while. I then look over and I realise that they're all enraged and they're all just going to kill themselves. Like they're all enraged, they're just going to keep hitting and fighting themselves. They're probably going to attack Bagger as well, hopefully I can get Bagger out of there and they can just attack each other over and over again. This right here is the exact reason why you don't want to have three bagger bugs. It's the reason why you don't want to have an angry overlord and two angry bodyguards because they're just going to get enraged at anything. They're going to get enraged at a bloody fly flying past them and they're going to take it out on the nearest person to them which is probably going to be their overlord. They're just like all those lads in hoods you hang around barbershops throughout the day. If you give them the wrong look, uh, they're going to come at you and they're going to get angry. Now is my chance. One of them's weak enough, I'm able to jump in and I'm going to recruit him, get him onto my side and I'm going to have a bag of bug of my own in the fight in the throne room against the two remaining bag of bugs. From here it just gets easy, you know, they're still enraged, they're still fighting each other, I've got a bag of bug and I've got a bag of, and just like that there's another bag of bug ready to be taken. Although it is hard to get them because they're usually so enraged that you have to wait for the split second they're not enraged and jump over there and recruit them. Me. You serve me. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And with that, now I've got two bag of bugs. So we've got bag of and two bag of bugs against Overlord bag of bug. And I keep shooting them even though he's armor proof. Don't know why I'm doing that. So now it's just a waiting game. We're gonna wait here until they all just wear him down and I'm gonna jump in and try and get the glory. Or I'm gonna let Bagger kill him. You know, I haven't decided yet. You know, whenever I jump in, there's always a chance that I'll be down by a random flailing bagger arm that just does 100% damage to me. Anyway, I'm using poison here because the only thing that he's weak to is beasts and poison. You know, that poison just cuts right through him, so I keep doing that. And then finally, after fighting three of them, he's finally been killed. 
Technically, Bagabug there got the kill, but I like to think my poison definitely did the job there. And there you go, that's my pro tips, XP guide, whatever, blah blah blah, to fighting a throne room where you've got a really angry overlord and the bodyguards are also angry and they're on juice and they're on steroids and they're on all that good stuff, you know? That's how you do it. My pro gamer guide, thank you for watching. Also, if you've made it this far, you know, go check out my Discord, it's in the link below, in the description, in the comments, I'm gonna blast this link everywhere. It's a really great community, you know, we talk loads about Shadow of War, there's loads of fun people in there, we're all posting our photos, we're posting our overlords, we're posting our creepy orcs, our badass orcs, all that stuff. So head on over there if you want to join the really class community, and maybe you can become a captain, or you can become a war chief, or you can become an overlord, you know? The possibilities are endless on this Discord, so go ahead, go check it out. Cheers guys.